Hi, welcome to Get Active Expert Tips. I'm Susan, the pharmacist from Watson Ativo Plaza. Today's topics will be how to differentiate between skin allergy reactions and skin fungal infections. While allergy rashes can cause by hives, eczema, and contact allergy. Contact allergy usually is localized, non-spreading, and they will usually have some red dots that cannot form a definite shape. While hives, they usually come in large, bumpy, itchy area. It might be quite scary at the first place, but it actually comes and goes. With eczema, it usually comes with family history, and it appears like dry, scaly, and red rashes often happen at the skin fold area. Well, with the skin fungal infections, it's quite common in Malaysia due to the hot and humid weather. So not to be too surprised that you might get it in your lifetime. And it's actually quite contagious and spread easily via skin-to-skin -skin contacts. Therefore, you really need to treat it if you have it. And it's actually known as ringworm as well because of the appearance. It appears as a round-shaped ring-like red areas. And then if it appears on your scalp, you might find that you have hair loss at that patch. And after you, if you treat it, you actually will gain back your hair. So not to too worry about it. And if it appears at your hand and foot, you might find your skin is actually start peeling off. And when you scratch it more, it's actually getting even more dry and scaly. So just treat it and it will be all gone. Well, if you aren't sure, just best to consult the doctor or pharmacist as, and try not to use any products first on the area because it may complicate the conditions and making the diagnosis is very difficult for us. Stay tuned for our next Get Active Health Tips. Bye, see ya! Remember to subscribe Watson's YouTube channel for more videos like this.